In this video, we'll quickly go over what is the theorem of Pappus and an example using that theorem. Now, Pappus, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, um, was an ancient Greek mathematician. So given how long ago that was, we don't know very much about Pappus. Um, but now the theorem of Pappus states is that if we have a region R um, that's completely to one side of a line I, then the volume V of the solid generated by revolving R about I is given by the formula V equals to 2 times pi times B times A, where A is the region, area of the region R, and B is the distance from the center of gravity of R to the line I. Now it's also thought of as saying that the volume is um, equal to the area of uh, R multiplied by the distance of D traveled by the centroid of R. And that distance traveled would be that 2 times pi times B. So let's look at an example. And it kind of looks like almost like a donut. Um, so it says if we find the volume of the torus generated by revolving a circle of radius 4 about a line, line about a distance 6 from the center of the circle, then the first thing is to find the area of that circle that we're going to be revolving about that line. Now remember the formula for the uh, area of a circle is pi times r squared, which in this case would be pi times 4 squared, which would be 16 pi. So the area, sorry, the, so the formula for the volume of that torus would equal to 2 times pi times 6, where again 6 is the distance from the center of the circle to the line i, because again the center of, the, of a circle would be the centroid or the center of gravity of the region, uh, times 16 pi, which would equal to 192 pi squared, and the units would be cubed because we're talking about volume. 